played. Come on over. Glad to see you're enjoying the palace. Look, I've only got five minutes before I have to go meet with some alien freaks, and I want to ask you something. You've been around the galaxy a few times. What's it like dealing with the Empire? It's been good business, and the government hasn't given me much trouble. You're one of the last real independents. I admire you for that, but your kind is dying out. The Huts have taken control of the gangs, and I think real soon the Republican Empire will want control of the Huts, even if Nimrod won't believe it. So, if we gotta pick a side, I wanna pick a winner, and I don't see the Empire losing. Like it or not, the Empire does seem to be the future. I hope so, and not just because of business either. My sons are free traders. They're doing business in the Sullis system. It's their first time dealing with the Empire, so I worry. I probably shouldn't. But you came to me for a reason. What can I do for you, Blade? You know Hutta pretty well, but you don't have my skills. I thought we could partner up for a job. Is that right? <laughs> Normally I wouldn't. But lately, I could use someone who works alone and gets results. Nemro's been stewing in his slime since we lost a shipment of rare ores in the Evokai lands. He blames me for some reason. Now, the Evokai, they're Hutta natives from before the cartel came. They mostly want us dead. If you get that shipment back, I'll pay you good. All right, I'm interested. And maybe we both come out ahead. There's a work camp outside Jaguna. Nimro set it up for some evil Kai who wanted peace. Bad deal, poor rubes. The chief there, Odef, was supposed to talk to the other evil Kai tribes about returning the ore, but he didn't come through. He knows something, though. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment to keep. But I look forward to seeing if the Red Blade's as good as they say. You said you were going to get the ore back. Ah! I have done all I can. They, the other tribes, will not listen. If you say so. Hey, you the Red Blade. Heard you were coming. Thought we'd soften up the Chief for you. Right, he looks pretty dangerous. Get out of here. Yeah, fine. Call out if you need us. I, I am Odef of the Evokai, leader of the Vom. Sacred Keeper of Histories. I greet you in peace, and I am grateful. Are you all right? Do you need a doctor? No, thank you. But no. You've come about the oars, I think. I swear it was one of the other tribes who attacked your shipment. Evokai who refused peace. In gratitude to Nemro for all he has done, I spoke to my misguided brothers, but they will not return Nemro's medals. It's, it's okay. You tried your best. What went wrong? The tribes. They stole the shipment to spite the huts and to use for themselves. They will make weapons, machines. They took the metals to their great village in the swamps. Only a beast or a shadow can enter. Seek the shipment there if you wish. Your help is appreciated. Can I repay you? I ask for nothing, but... You may walk in our camp. There are others who have their own needs. Farewell, off-worlder. Slow down, Blade. Stay with me a while. We haven't had the chance to talk. I'm Kaleo. Nemro puts me in charge of the good stuff. His guns, his troops, the safety of his little palace. You can spare some time for me, right? Who am I to say no to a woman like you? Good answer. People who say no are never very interesting. You've got a nasty reputation, you know. I can't help wondering, why would the Red Blade finally visit the house of Nemro? Truth is, I'm just looking for fresh company. Is that right? Aw, oh, you must get soft and lonely out there in space. I like to think you'll be Trouble Blade. You'll be bloodthirsty, treacherous, because I could enjoy keeping an eye on a bloodthirsty, treacherous pirate. Well, I could enjoy being watched. Hmm. Maybe we'll get along after all. If you are trouble, take your time. I'd hate to stick a blaster to your head or a slave collar around your neck before I've seen everything you can do. That's all I wanted to say. You can go now. It's been a pleasure, Kaleo.
Of course it has. Fathra will not stop his mining operations. He's going to keep tapping our gas pocket and cut our supply in half. Oh, kakiza spida perupa. Kadwa shiniko higa danulia. Don't play dumb with me, Tathlajin. Father doesn't need to steal our customers if he doesn't leave us any gas to sell, and we can't uproot him without help. Idiot. Sorry about Tathlajin, Blade. Legitimate business brings out the worst in us. Makes me miss actual crime, you know? But it looks like you're about to brighten my day. You find the shipment? I have it right here. Delivered as promised. The fee's been transferred to your account. You'll have access by the time you're back at your apartments. You earned every credit. I'd buy you a drink in the cantina, but I need to have a chat with Nimro. We should talk more another time, though. You do good work. I appreciate it, Carols. Good luck with the hut. Right. I'll need it. The operation is proceeding well, Agent. Thanks to your intervention, Carol's Jarvis will once again have Nemro's ear. I took note of your meeting with Nemro's security chief, Kaleo. You handled yourself well. Still be on your guard. We've identified her as a freelance assassin, enforcer, and anarchist. She's been attached to a dozen employers in half as many years, using several different aliases. What's she doing with Nemro? Unknown. In all likelihood, she needed the credits. And if she truly has no loyalty to the hut, we may be able to use her in the future. On to more immediate concerns. Nemero operates a major Schwarz gas mine on Hutter. The Empire wants access to Nemero's refined gas. Unfortunately, Fathra is tapping the same gas pocket as Nemero. We need to destroy Fathra's operations in the rust yards before Nemero's grinds to a halt. Can't we just buy the gas from Fathra instead? Nemero's refineries produce Schwarz usable as a precision explosive. Fathra can't refine the gas to the same degree, and he's wasting it by trying. He will travel to Fathra's mining facility and place explosives in the drill shaft, destroying the equipment and collapsing part of the gas pocket. You'll need to strip a uniform and credentials off the facility guards to pass the final security checkpoint. A working disguise is imperative. Should be straightforward. Your disguise may not hold up under close inspection, so avoid conversation. The explosives have already been delivered to your room. Once you're finished, go back to Carol's Jarvis and make sure he knows what happened. Take the credit if you like. I'll be back soon. One more thing, Agent. Darth Jadis pays increasing attention to your work. You will reward success or failure appropriately, and I will not intervene. Report back after you've destroyed the mine and inform Carol's of the results. Keep her out. Gas leak detected. Activating ventilation system. Lockdown in in place until ventilation complete. Recalling all mining and security droids. You'll get the gory details after I report to Nemro. Figure you can wait that long? Looks like I'll have to. But you don't get... Blade, nice you decided to come by, but I was just telling Carol's I can't stay. I know you understand. That girl's a handful, but she's good at what she does. I'll give her that. What does she do exactly, besides swagger and carry a blaster? Officially, she's Nemro's chief enforcer. Truth is, most of the troops are terrified of her, so she keeps our people in line more than Fathra's. Anyways, I'm glad you're here. But those explosions in the rust yards, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Father's mines won't cause you any more trouble. <laughs> I thought you might have something to do with it. Good work, Blade. Good work. I like a person who takes initiative. With Father's mines broke down, we can increase production. Father will want revenge, of course, but we'll be ready. Look, I have something for you. You'll like it. I'll send it to your room. You've done good work for us. You deserve more than credits. Which reminds me, how long are you staying on Hutta? What makes you ask? Well, if you're still around in a few weeks, I'd like you to meet my sons. They'll be home from the trading expedition. I think you'd get along. 
Think about it is all I'm saying. Now get going. I'm sure you have other business to take care of. Come on, Luti, we don't have time to waste here. Too late. Hey there, you must be the Blade. You want to explain why you're in my room? Well, we were paid pretty well, for starters. Luti here was installing a listening device before you interrupted. Someone wanted to know what you were up to, but I guess that plan's off now. Whatever you're being paid, I can pay more. Well, I don't really want to cross my employer. Plus, you know, we can always grab the credits off your corpse. Guns out, folks. Stan Nemro's Farsh gas production is back on schedule, Agent. Excellent work. Keep it up and Darth Javis may loosen his grip on operations. However, I'm afraid unforeseen circumstances have caused a problem. You mean the people who broke into my room? No, that's a separate matter and one I advise you to watch closely. But it isn't what concerns me now. Three days ago, Colonel Javis' sons encountered a Sith apprentice in Imperial space. A dispute broke out. One son died and the other was crippled. When Karos hears that a Sith slaughtered his child, his sympathy for the Empire will evaporate. We can no longer use him to get to Nemro. Can we keep him from finding out? No. Karos is close to his sons and the circumstances of the encounter aren't exactly secret. He'll learn sooner or later. Now, I have a plan to solve our present dilemma, but first we need Karos out of the way. Are you sure that's necessary? It's unfortunate, but it's the only way to proceed. I'm sending you an interference program on a computer spike. Go to Carol's suites in the palace. Activate the spike to black out his security monitors. You'll be able to eliminate Carol's and his bodyguards without being seen. When Nemro's people investigate, they'll recognize the jamming program as Republic technology. So we frame the Republic for the murder of Carol's Javis. Why? One step at a time, Agent. Tartalish and Nemro's Twi'lek advisor already expect Fathera to seek revenge for the destruction of his mines. Our job is to show that the Republic helped Fathera kill Carols. Once Carols is gone, speak to Tartalish about his suspicions. As Carols' friend, you'll promise to do whatever it takes to find the assassins. Time to get to work. For now, get to Carols' suites and use the computer spike. We'll discuss more once Carol's is eliminated and Tarthogen's suspicions have been aroused. Keep her out. What's going on here? You thought you'd just go and switch sides? Damn you! Carol's, you can survive this, but we have to work together. You're offering me mercy? Oh, your timing's bad. I could use a fight right now. I just got word that my boys are dead, Blade. Some Imperial piece of filth killed him for refusing to bow and scrape! You're wrong. One is dead, but the other is only crippled. How could you know that? How? I get it. Kill one, take the other hostage. Just make sure Carol's Javis cooperates, right? You slime. What is it you want from me? I want you to go search for your son and leave your life here behind. My son's health, in exchange for everything I have, huh? I've made better bargains. I'll go. Not a word to Nemro. With what you've done in here, they'll probably think I was disintegrated. Good luck, Carols. Be safe. Don't. Don't think you can ruin me and talk like we're buddies. Goodbye, Blade.